following is a presentation of GRS TV. We well, set the ball high. On top, can we so fly? Name in the bright lights. Looking like a star shot. We well, set the ball high. On top, can we so fly? Name in the bright lights. Looking like a star shot. regular season game and second place on the line here tonight at Williams Stadium as the Saxy Mustangs take on the Naaman Forest Rangers. Hello everyone, Steve Reeves here. I'm joined by my partner, Bobby George. Bobby, I tell you what, both of these teams have made the playoffs. Both of them come in at five and one in district play. Again, so nothing on the line as far as playoffs are concerned, but they can both, you know, kind of make them a name for themselves for second place. And I'll tell you what, they're led offensively. Both of them have a dynamic start. You've got Alex Orgy for the Saxony Mustangs, Kingsley Bennett for Name It For Us. Uh, Kingsley Bennett, he's been amazing for this team. And I tell you, he's got over a thousand yards, nine, about eight and a half yards of carry, 17 touchdowns. And then you turn it over to the other side of Saxy and you look at Alex Orgy. Now that guy has been everything for their team. 1,951 yards, 27 touchdowns in the air, 971 yards on the ground, 19 touchdowns on the ground. So 36 touchdowns in all for Alex Orgy. Yeah, just big two offensive weapons, you know, but the funny part of it is, Bobby, the game tonight may come down to who plays the better defense because, you know, both of these teams, high-powered offenses, as we just mentioned, defense could be the difference maker. Yeah, and, and we always look down to the team in green down here because, you know, they, they are so good up front and uh, their defensive front four are so good. And so we're going to get to see uh, Naaman's defense and, and go up against Alex Orgy and uh, see how they can contain him because Alex Orgy is somebody, there he is, number 10 on the sideline, getting his troops ready to go. And he's just something that he can carry the whole team on his back. I mean, again, so many rushing touchdowns, so many passing touchdowns, you, you got to contain him some way. So we'll get to see if that defense can handle it. Absolutely, and number two, Kingsley Bennett is back deep to return this kick. And we are just about set to get underway. Again, the final regular season game. Both of these teams have already clinched playoff spots. And we are underway. The kick is going to be a short one. It's going to be taken at the 25-yard line by number five. And he's going to run, be run out of bounds around the 35. That is Roman Williams. And the name and force offense will be on the field first. Saxy did win the opening toss. They deferred to the second half, so that's why Naaman went ahead. They received here to start our game. You know, they'll be led out by Trey Watson, and he's pretty good himself. He's, he's throwing about 63%. He's got 1,200 yards in the air, 12 touchdowns, uh, five interceptions. This guy knows how to roll his offense as well, and, and he spreads it out to a lot of people. Jaden Flores, Mike DeLuna, Kingsley Bennett, Jason Flores, Cason Rideau. He'll throw it to everybody. Oh, the first snap, though, gets behind him. He's going to just fall on it. And I believe he did get it, but, boy, that is going to be a loss of about 11 yards on that very first play. Just a bad snap that time. Yeah, you got to get the chitters out of you a little bit, and the center probably has somebody lining right over the top of him. And it just slips right out of his hands, right down on the ground. So that's not how you want to start it against the number one uh, seed for big schools uh, in Saxe. Yeah, loss of 11 there, second down and 21. And again, but as, as you mentioned, Saxe, the, the top seed in Division One, Naaman's going to be the second seed in Division Two. There's a deep pass looking for Roman Williams. That one falls incomplete. So again, both teams have made the playoffs and in second place on the line. The potential co-district championship for the winner here. There's the deep pass to Roman Williams. Pretty good coverage out there also by number 38 of the Mustangs. Yeah, it looks like Roman Williams kind of stopped on his play and then, you know, Trey goes ahead and throws it way out there and just kind of overthrows him. But it looked like, you know, Roman Williams may have stopped on the play there. Yeah, third down and long here, but just quickly to finish up that thought again, they could potentially be playing for a co-district championship if South Garland were to beat Garland across the way. And they're just going to hand it off, play it safe here on that third down and long. The handoff goes 
to, I believe that was Bennett there with the handoff. See, no, I'm sorry, he faked it there. there Walt kept it. Short gain on the play, and it's going to be fourth down and 21. So a quick three and out here for Naaman Force. Actually, going to get the ball, and number seven, Jack Krill, stands around midfield to return the kick. Yeah, I don't think you want to kick it to him. You want to go ahead and kick his side, side kick, just kick it away from Jet Krill because he can really take it to the house. Boy, what a punt that time, and Krill's going to be backed up to his 40. Calls for a fair catch. Mustang still with good field position, Bobby, but a nice punt that time by the Rangers. Yeah, and, you know, Saxy came out to play. I mean, they... And that defense, they really shut them down, and there was just nothing there. We had that big tackle by T.K. Burnley on the outside, big tackles by Jaden Gibbs in the in, you know over the two tech position, and it just shut the uh, name and force down, and they just had to punt this thing away. So good field position here for Saxe. Yeah, that was Flores with that punt. Jason Flores, number 22, a nice punt. Mustangs on offense for the first time. Snap to Alex Orji. Handoff goes to the left side. Nice run here, still on his feet. Number 20 for the Mustangs. That is Luke Kiefer, and a nice gain of about nine yards. Luke Kiefer, man, he's really toted the rock. Good for Saxe. 75 carries on the year, 680 yards. About nine yards per carry, and you can see how he's able to do that. I mean, he's just moving and moving all around. Now he got nine yards right there, so right at his average. Second down and one here, just underway at Williams Stadium. There's a snap, another handoff right up the middle. Boy, a big hole, and that's an easy first down. Once again, Luke Kiefer with the carry. Well, you're going to have to start watching these linemen and give these guys a little bit of credit. Kiefer just runs it straight up the middle, but look at the linemen. Boom, boom, boom. Everybody's tying somebody up and just driving those legs. Get you nine yards quick. Number 56 for the Rangers, Marcus Dill. We'll call his name tonight. They have moved him inside now after those two quick runs. There's a quick throw across the middle, and the catch is made. Boy, a nice little quick throw. The uh, defender was right on him, but a good catch by number eight, Cam Gladney. Yeah, it's just a little quick post. Look at that, boom, just right there, right over the middle, and the coverage was perfect. But Gl Gladly just snakes that ball out with his hands. I mean, just all hands there. Eight yards on that completion. Now the handoff to Kiefer. He is going to die forward. I think he's going to have the first down. Yep, they're going to mark him right at the 30. That's a gain of three, and that will move the chains once again. <laughs> Elijah Johnson, you see him. He's a six-foot, 240 uh, defensive tackle there. And he's right, lined up right over the center, if you see him right there. And he, he's the one that got through there and, and tripped him up. And he thought he got held a little bit as well. First and 10 for the Mustangs. Uh -oh. And it off to Kiefer once again. Weaves his way for another eight, nine yards. Let's see, eight yards. They're going to mark him down at the 22. Well, I'll tell you what, the Mustang offense right in the middle of the field between the tackles, Bobby, pretty impressive. The ball actually hits Gladney on that on while he's going in motion. And Kiefer just is lucky to, to have caught that ball in midair. I think it would hit the ground and you know, no telling what would have happened there. Well, eight more yards on first down. I'll tell you what, when you're picking up eight, nine yards on your first down, you can do quite a bit with the offense. Another handoff to Kiefer. Going to be short of the first down, a gain of about two, but it's going to be a third down and, and one. There's a look at number 53 on the field right there. In on the tackle, Ivan Thompson. Boy, did you see Josh Trammell? Number 62. He's 265-pound senior. Boy, he's just moving people. He's like one of those big bulldozers. They just start hitting people and just moving them around. Let's see if he can move the name and force defensive line to the tune of a yard. Here comes a penalty flag. They may get a legal procedure here against the Mustangs, and I think they do. I think he moved just, just a tad quick. Prior to the snap, ball start, 62 offense. Five-yard penalty. I jinxed Defeat, him. Third down. <laughs> yes, you did. Yeah, we were watching because he—he was—he's pulling. He's like he's sitting there and he's pulling like a guard, you know, from one side to the other and lead blocking, and uh, for Kiefer there, and they got him leaving just a little early. So third down and one now becomes third and six. Saxy's first drive of the game. There's a snap to Orgy. They're going to fake the handoff. Orgy's going to roll out to his right on the bootleg. Here comes the pressure. 
and he's not going to get the first down. Well, I'll tell you what, though. You saw him kind of push his arm out there for a, a stiff arm. Bobby kind of pushed forward on the defender. That's number six, Bird, for the Rangers. Bird played that as good as you can play it. I mean, he's covered. Look at him covering right there. And then as soon as he sees Alex Orgy bring his arm down where he's not going to throw it, he goes after him and makes the tackle. I mean, you can't play that any better. You're covering somebody, and then you go after the quarterback and make the play. So a gain of two. It's going to be fourth and four. The Mustangs keep the offense on the field. There's the snap. Orgy's going to keep it himself. He gets hit at the line. I don't think he got it. I think he's a yard short. Wow. I think he is, too. That's going to be a turnover on downs. So the name and force defense led by that young man right there, number 41, Chandler Davis, is held. The Mustang offense, there's the big hit right there. Wow, just awesome play. Boy, the initial hit right there, number 54, Elijah Johnson, and then 41, as I mentioned, Chandler Davis helps. That's the second time we've called Elijah Johnson. Man, he's making plays out there, one right after another, and none bigger than that one. So a turnover on downs, a good drive there by the Mustangs, and really that illegal procedure call is probably what killed it. It took a third and one to a third and six, and Name and force now with the football. Kingsley Bennett, uh -oh. his initial carry, breaks through the initial tackle, and he's going to have about 12 yards on his first carry from scrimmage. I mean, where did he? He, he just kind of sneaks around. Look at this. He's covered up right there. Thought they had him, and then all of a sudden just got a huge clear out block by number 82 that springs him. So the first first down of the game for the Rangers. Snap to Wall, low snap, handoff to Bennett once again. This time, better job by the Mustang defense to corral him after a short gain of only about two yards. I believe that was number 98. I'll be on Chris Niki there with the initial hit. And along with number 96 there, that is Keelan Lamar. That's a big group right there. Keelan Lamar, six foot, 225. Then you have number 97, Jaden Gibbs there, six foot, 265. And right beside him, you got Krenzinski, 6'2", 270. That is a huge line defensively. That's hard to move those guys. Well, the linebacker's up on the line there. Now they're going to drop him back on this second down and long. That oh. throw is there, and boy, two Mustangs collide. Let's see if they're okay. Well, that's always dangerous. As James Adams, boy, they collide right here. They both go up for the interception. You can see right here, boom, wide open. And they both take a huge fall. Number two gets the worst of it, it looks like, James Adams. Yeah, he's going to come over to the sideline. They're going to take a look at him just to make sure, you know, that concussion protocol that they, so many of the athletes are trying to keep him safe. And so they're going to take a look at him. And it's going to be third down after the incomplete pass from Walton, third and long. There's a snap. We're just about at the midway point of the first quarter. Oh, oh and that ball is it. right to the Mustangs. That's going to be an easy six. And Saxe has taken the lead. Ivory Chester, 165-pound <laughs> defensive back, just steps right in front of that thing. I'm not sure he even sees him. He's double covered. It was a different defensive look. They had number 96, Lamar, chasing him out there. Yeah, really an ill-advised throw that time from Walton, as you mentioned, Bobby, into double coverage. But, boy, what a great job and a great play by the sophomore. Yeah, I think they just, they, they kind of tricked him uh, is what happened. They didn't know uh, that the defensive back was just going to be setting down, waiting for that one. So look at number 33, Ivory Chester and the Mustangs with the early lead here. Our score, William Stadium, Sac C7, name and force nothing. We'll be back after these messages. The Garland ISD Education Foundation provides resources to support and enrich education for all students in the Garland Independent School District. Every dollar donated helps fund innovative teaching and learning initiatives choose today to impact a better tomorrow. For more information and to learn how you can give, 
visit gisdedfoundation.org. Seven nothing Mustangs after the interception return for a touchdown. There's a look at the touchdown king right there. That's number 33, the sophomore, Ivory Chester. And, boy, just a good play by him. And, boy, he saw all the, the turf in front of me, Bobby, and that he just kind of strolled into the end zone. That's a dream play. Yes, you it know, is. you come over here on a bus, and they're, they're wanting you to be real quiet. And if you've ever been on a bus in a football field, uh, you know, on a football team, they're all quiet, and the coach is telling you not to say anything. Just think about what you're going to do and all the plays you're going to make that night. And that's one of them for a defensive back, right? They sit there and think about, oh, I'd love to step in front of a pass and take it to the house. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, you dream it and it comes true. High end over end kick is going to be taken at the 28. No fair catch is called, but he falls down. So going to be down right there at around the uh, 32 yard line, 31, let's call it. And that's where Naaman Forrest will come out trailing 7 0. Yeah, I think Trey Walton just kind of got confused because they had Kinzinski uh, or Gibbs, one of those coming out there and covering the the end that was out there on the route for the pass and uh, and i believe that just ivory chester was just sitting there in a different kind of look and it, and it confused trey walton and he goes ahead and throws the interception you know i think that's what happened there so the rangers on offense first and 10 at the 31. there's a snap handoff to bennett boy look at the speed uh -oh. and guess what there ain't nothing One there play and we're gonna be tied up barring the extra point I think he ran that in about three seconds flat. I mean, that is fast. 69 yards, and I don't think he was touched. I mean, that's how you answer right there. Big seal block, and there was just nobody. Okay, we're going to see him in the 200 meter. Here comes track season. <laughs> So just like that 69-yard touchdown run for Kingsley Bennett, the extra point here to tie it up. And right now they don't have a holder. Uh-oh, your only duty, buddy, is to hold for snaps. You better hurry. <laughs> you better get out there. You got 11 seconds now. He's celebrating down there with Kingsley Bennett. <laughs> oh, a low snap. Uh-oh. Gets behind him. And the extra point is no good, so the Mustangs Retain the lead, but there's a look at Kingsley Bennett. We'll keep it here for a nice 69 yard touchdown run. A nice answer play after the Mustangs had just scored on the interception return. We've got a 7 6 score. He needs a break now. I, I, I'm thinking you, you got to feed it to him. This is what you do right here. Watch a seal block right there. Boom. That was where it sealed. I mean, count it. Three. Two, I mean, that guy is fast. Look at him spread those legs like that. Whew. Now, why were you, you counting down? You are, you are not, you are not, yeah. I was saying three, two, one, he's in the end zone. That's what I was thinking. Man, he is so fast. Uh, it, once once he breaks that line of scrimmage and those linebackers, there's just nobody going to catch him. Right. So you, you're going to have to be careful with Saxey. They had everybody up on the line of scrimmage. I mean, they had like six guys on the line and two, safe, uh, two linebackers, and that's all they had. Yep. And you break that, you're not going to catch him. Yeah, so far it's worked well for Saxe here in the early going. Of course, you've seen, you know, Walton has already thrown the one interception, had a, another overthrow as well. And so, and a know, couple of bad snaps, exactly. it just wasn't going. But when you get that ball handed it to Kingsley Bennett and you get some good seal blocks, you're going to have to play some linebackers in there. I think I'm taking my chances against the run. I'm going to, I'm going to feel the box and try to stop the run and, and dare them to throw. That's what I think I'd do. Fair catch called for by Jet Krill, and it is made right at the 30-yard line. That's where the Mustangs will take over first and 10, leading in this game, 7-6. And this is a game for second place in the district. You know, coming into this game, Naaman Forrest comes in with only one loss on the season, Bobby. Now, we've talked about it, uh, you know, throughout the year. They uh, did not play their non-district slate due to, you know, COVID concerns and so forth, but but they have only lost one game. They're five and one. Of course, the Mustangs also five and one in district play, six and three overall, as you see Orgy keeping himself around left end. Well, you know, they should have fresh legs. I mean, that's what you're saying. They've only played six games. Everybody else has played a whole lot more, uh, you know, so uh, they really should have a, a pretty uh, good squad full, to, full of healthy players. That's just a messed up play there. 
Look at the holding. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they had a holding play they missed there, but he picks up some yards on a broken play. Yeah, and you're right, another snap, you know, that that Orgy not able to, to get cleanly. He was able to corral it, and they just kind of ran around left end. Here's the handoff to Kiefer to the right side. Boy, and coming to flying through that time, number 41 for the Mustangs once again, Chandler Davis, and that's going to be a loss of a yard. That's his third tackle, Chandler Davis, already in this game. I mean, he's, he's flying to the ball. That's what you want. Big third down play coming up here for the Mustangs. Snap to Orgy, they're bringing pressure. He's gonna try to take it up the middle. Boy, and that is a great play by the senior quarterback, Bobby, as he saw the you know blitzers coming from the ends, and so he takes it straight up the middle and picks up enough yardage for the first down. Let's see if we can get it right here. They get a good seal block on, block on Marcus Deal, a good running room there. Yeah, why not take it straight up the middle? He just about loses that ball, though. It almost comes out of his hands. First down yard is picked up by Orgy. Ball at the Saxe 45. We're approaching four minutes remaining in the first quarter. Mustangs on top 7-6. Three-step drop, Orgy with all day to throw it. He's looking long, he's got a man out there. Oh, oh no! In and out of the hands of the intended receiver. It was there, a beautiful throw. And Jamari Hartz just could not hang on to it. Well, when you give Alex Orgy that much time to throw the ball, look how much time he has. We know that he can throw it 60 yards, and that's right, what he did right there. He just waits and just throws it when you stop covering because you just don't think he's going to – you have to cover that long. you got to cover four seconds. There's just no way. So he just throws it deep. Jamari Hart was there. Second down 10, the handoff this time goes to the uh, new running back in the game and a short gain of only about two yards. It's number 32 with that carry for the Mustangs. That is Dane Norberg. He is a sophomore running back for Saxe. That's good to see these young players coming in here and making a big impact in a game. You hand the ball off to him like that and he covers it up and just about loses it. But hey, he's getting the opportunity. But a couple times they've had that kind of play and Orgy in a lot of trouble. And he's going to be dropped for another loss. Well, it's going to be four down. The Mustangs are going to bring on the punt team. Well, they're putting some pressure on him. They're, the best thing that they've had going is going right up the middle. When Alex Orgy tries to run it from the outside, uh, he's just been getting, you know, corralled. I mean, they're not letting him run. And, and that's what we talked about in the, in the beginning of the game. He's already, he's got 907, he's almost a thousand yards rushing. And so what you got to do is contain him. You know, that where he kills you is, is running the ball. Here's the punt boy off the side of the foot, and that's going to be angled out of bounds. And boy, not a good punt at all. Naaman's going to get good field position out of this thing. See where they end up spotting it. He's still running up there. They're going to wow. mark it, uh, yeah, around the 42-yard line. So you're looking at a punt of about 11 yards. Now, Alex Orgy is a good punter, though. He he does do a good job of punting, so that one must have just got off the side of his foot. Well, so the Rangers now come out with good field position in trailing in this game by one. And yeah, look at the Mustang defense, Bobby. They've got, you know, really those first eight defenders up near the line of scrimmage. The handoff goes to Bennett outside as the Mustangs lose contain and a nice run once again by Bennett at a gain of about 11. Yeah, they're definitely bringing the uh, defense up to stop the run. They are, but you, you got you to gotta make sure you can outside contain as well. You got to stay out there because Bennett is fast. You, you can't just, the thing is, if you penetrate too far up, it, it leaves gaps and then Bennett will find them. So what you got to do is you got to just stay at the line of scrimmage, hold your man up and let Bennett run into you. Yeah, they've got man coverage out here on the wide receivers, one safety back and again, trying to stop the run. Boy, Bennett makes some nice moves there. He's going to pick up another first down and more. Well, a gain of about 15, maybe 16 more. His second step off of a break what, is just as fast as if he's running full speed. Look at that, just hopping like a like a rabbit, and he's going full speed off of that hop. Hmm, just great running right yeah, there. Yeah, absolutely. 
When, when a defender is trying to close in and then all of a sudden he hops out of it and then he's running full speed again, it's so hard to get him. First down in Saxe territory at the 33-yard line. There's a snap on another low snap to Walton. This time he's looking to throw it. Pressure comes and he's going to get dropped. Boy, tried to step up in the pocket, but into the arms of the Saxe defenders right there, led by number 98, Albion Krasniki. Yeah, you have to make a good snap because that brings Walton's eyes down to the ground. He loses his receivers. And then at that time, everything, is, the timing is off. And then Krasniski is so big and so strong. And big number 97 right beside him, Gibbs, they, they, they are just going to come in and get you, man. You, you have to, timing has to be it when those guys are after you. You don't have much time to, to make a mistake. Loss of five on the play. Second down 15 now for the Rangers. There's a snap. Going to hand it off on the draw play to Bennett up the middle. Boy, good job by the Mustang defense to stay home. Number 96 right there on your screen and on the tackle, Keelan Lamar. And gain of only about two, it's going to be third and long. It's just a big group of guys right there. Lamar on the hmm. Just too many of them to block. Look at all the white jerseys there. Gain of two on the play, third down, 13. Inside of a minute to go here in the first quarter. Exactly like we thought, Bobby. We expected a close game so far. It has been exactly that. 7-6 Mustangs on top. Name and driving here, but facing this third and long. Walt's going to roll out. Here yeah. comes the pressure. He's going to go down again. TK Burnley. I mean, there was nobody open, though. Saxe did such a great job of coverage. I mean, that's what you call a coverage sack. Because he's looking downfield. He wants to throw it. There's just no one to throw it to. So a loss of about six more. I tell you, you give that Saxe defense some, uh, you know, something to be encouraged about, and they're just going to start coming after you, man. You, you got to defeat them and defeat them fast, just like that long run by Bennett. That was good for you. But if you start giving them all this, uh, you know, all this encouragement, boy, it's going to be tough to handle. And we have come to the end of the first quarter here at Williams Stadium. A good one. Our score, Saxe 7, name it 4 6. We'll be back after these messages. In Garland ISD, we're providing a higher level of education. Our students not only choose their own path to success, but arrive there faster. We're eliminating thousands of dollars in college tuition costs with our P Tech and Early College High School programs. Students can graduate with as many as 60 college credit hours, an associate's degree, or an industry certification, all for free and all from the comfort of a traditional high school. By teaming up with area colleges and industry partners like Microsoft, Google, Parkland Hospital, Wells Fargo, and Gulf States Toyota, our students are gaining real work experience and real college credit. So be inspired. Be amazing. Be whoever you want to be. Choose Garland ISD. Coming back to live action here for the start of the second quarter, and you're looking at a band on the screen. Boy, it doesn't look like the normal band, however. Bobby, that is the Hudson Middle School band we're looking at right now. Hey, they're having a lot of fun getting to come out here and play at a 6A uh, football game, and congratulations to Saxe, right? I mean, their band is going to state, and they left this morning. They had a big send-off. I think it's on YouTube TV, TV for GRS TV. Absolutely, GRS TV crew caught it out there, and you're exactly right. They are off to stay, so Hudson filling in admirably. And a fair catch is called for on the punt, and boy, Carrillo's going to let it bounce. It's going to take a little bit of a Mustang, or pardon me, a, uh, yeah, Mustang bounce there because it came back, and then they're going to down it at around the 18, it looks like. So, so yeah, the Hudson band here tonight, and. Uh, we were talking a little bit before the game. Boy, it'd be great if, if we actually saw him out there marching on the field at halftime, <laughs> but I doubt fun. we're going to see that. Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's some that's some big uh, shoes to fill, uh, Saxe. I mean, absolutely. I mean, you go to state, that's a big deal. It man. is. There, there's so much competition out there in the band world, and, and for them to make it, is yeah. that the first time they've made it to state? Yeah, I think it is. And yeah. congratulations, as you yeah. mentioned, to them. Yeah. and. Principal Shea Krill and the rest of the uh, Mustang band and just, you know, good good luck at State. Yeah, I think it's a big deal. I mean, I, I remember when Lakeview, they made it uh, to to State when they were in the, the plays, when they were doing all the, the 
plays. I don't know, but one act plays. Yeah, they they were uh, excited uh, beyond belief. I mean, because it's so hard to get there, you know. And uh, so, congratulations to Saxy here. First down run to Kiefer for no gain. And then you see Orgy fakes the handoff, keeps it himself this time, and he's going to be close to first down yardage. Look at these. Boy, he's, look at his legs. I mean, he's been taking a beating. Yep. The senior quarterback. Going to bring a third down one for the Mustang. Just a quick shout out on our band store. Of course, Holly Taylor is the uh, director for the band. And again, congratulations, Holly, and good luck at State. We're all we're all backing you and cheering you on. Third down and short. Orange is going to call his own number. He's going to pick up the first down. Cross the 30 at down. Still moving, but finally get a. Yeah, where's the whistle? Come on, blow the whistle, guys. I mean, you do that, people get hurt. He's going to gain about six out of that. We're gonna mark him down around the uh, 34 and you're right, Bobby. You know, sometimes it's, you know, sometimes it's kind of fun to see that scrum pile and people are pushing, trying to get more yardage, but I'm with you. You know, sometimes you wish they would blow the whistle a little quicker. Yeah, right there. I mean, this play's dead and that should have been blown. You see, watch, everybody starts to pull on each other. People start running into the back of your legs, trying to make you fall. You, you can't have that. You got to blow that whistle. First down Mustangs, the ball at the 34, hand off this time and trapped and dropped in the backfield is Kiefer. I believe that was number 22 that time for the uh, Rangers in on the tackle. Pardon me, 23. Isaiah Cunning on the stop. It's Isaiah Cunning. Watch 23 come across there and Woo. make the tackle. Yeah. Got through there quick, didn't he? Yeah, nice job by Cunning. And it's interesting. I, you got a number 23 down there, and he's playing defensive tackle. Yeah. <laughs> you don't see that very often, <laughs> do you? Not that number. Loss of one on the play, second down at 11. They got him listed as the running back and a linebacker. That just means he's an athlete. What nice fake that time. Orgy's going to keep it around the right side. He's going to pick up about eight more. It's going to be third down and short. Chandler Davis again on the tackle. That's his fifth. Yeah, he just, just pulled that ball down, and, and Marcus Dill was chasing Kiefer to the left side, and Orgy just went right around him, picked up about eight yards. Would be excited to see these two teams playing next week in the playoffs. Of course, the, the matchups are already set. So Saxe will be playing Mesquite next week. See Orgy right there to the left, and he's going to easily pick up the first down. And these Mustangs will be playing Mesquite next week, Bobby, and Naaman Forrest will have a matchup against Rockwall Heath. I think it's a 7.30 start next week, isn't it? I believe so. There's the look at Orgy coming to the left. Elijah Johnson, he, I think he thought he was getting held there. Well, nice job by Kiefer on this handoff. As you saw him head towards the middle, Bobby, and then he just broke to the uh, outside where looked like containment had been lost. Here's a look at it. Yeah, that's a nice little one-two punch with Kiefer and Alex Orgy running the ball right there. He's just able to bounce outside and make a good play. Gain of six on that first down run. Oh, a low slap, snap to Orgy. He's able to pick it up. Throw out here on the sideline is caught by number 81, Kalik Lockett. He does just a little five-yard out pattern. Uh, and, and Alex Orgy is able to find him. He knew exactly where he wanted to go with that ball. Had plenty of time to pick up that first down. So the Mustangs, as you said, Bobby, another first down here as they are driving methodically and in Naaman territory at the 36. Have a one point lead in this game, 7-6 early here in the second quarter. Hand off to Kiefer to the left. Cuts it back to the middle, but boy, nothing doing. And, and so far, number 41, Chandler Davis defensively has had a really good game here in the first half for the Rangers. We do see a flag on the play late. Flag on the play.
after the play, unsportsmanlike conduct. 77 on the offense, 15 yard penalty, still second down. Wow, you got a penalty call on the offense there for some unnecessary stuff, if you will, after the play. That's a big penalty. It's going to be a 15 yarder. Yeah, they, they've been on, you know, that's Connor Clearfield. He's been blocking number 54 all night, and they're just battling down there. You see them right there. They're just clean fighting, you know, right there. And maybe they said little words, but boy, you can just tell that they are working down there. They, they're fighting. So second down, 24 now. Oh, here comes pressure on Orgy. They had a wide receiver screen set up. The catch is made, but boy, Naaman's defense does a good job to read that one, Bobby, and a gain of only about two yards on the play. There's the pressure coming by number 54, Elijah Johnson. Yeah, I think it's, uh, Johnson gets out there, and, and I guess uh, Davis as well. Well, Davis is just everywhere, playing that middle linebacker spot. It's just pretty impressive watching him work tonight. I thought they were getting the pressure on Alex Orgy. It was just a nice drawn up play to throw that little screen out there. There's a snap on third and long. Orgy's gonna throw it deep. Good coverage, coverage is out here, yeah, absolutely. And matter of fact, number five, Roman Williams was looking for an interception there. Yeah, I mean, he played it perfectly, I mean, as soon as the ball was snapped, he started running with his receiver, just running straight down the field, and it was just a go route, so it just worked out for him that the ball went towards his side. So fourth down now, fourth and 22. We're just going to step back in pump formation. Of course, the Rangers don't have anybody back to return this. There's a snap. And this time a little bit of a better punt by Orgy. Let's see if it can stay out of the end zone. No, it's going to make it. Just made it. That will be a touchback. So the big penalty that time, Bobby, you know, Saxon was driving once again there, but that penalty on the offense really killed that drive. And now the Rangers will take back over first and 10 at the 20. It's hard enough to get 10 yards, much less 25. I mean, that's it's a tough penalty. So the Ranger offense back on the field, 637 left in the half. 7-6 our score. Well, how about Bennett, Bobby, in the first half, he's already got a, you know over 110 yards or 100 yards rush. He's got 110 to be exact. One of them was about 65 yards on one rush, though, That's man. That's exactly that, right. I mean, he was hooking it. There's a snap. They're going to hand it off to him again. Right off the uh, left guard that time for a gain of about four yards. Thing is, Bennett's just not that big of a guy. I mean, he, I think they got him at about 155 pounds, about 5'6", five, 5'7". Five, uh, and big tackles like that could, you know, you have to be pretty tough to be running up in, a, in that kind of a tackling situation where those big dudes are hitting you. It's Absolutely. okay when you're scat backing around and outrunning everybody, but between the tackles, it's tough. Boy, nice run here by Bennett, Woo! cuts it back outside. Spin move and finally taken off his feet once again by number 49, Sean Catherman. He was the young man that made the play on the last tackle, and he just got his second consecutive. Boy, and Marcus Deal just gets a good lead block right here. Look at that. Boom. He just pushes that guy out of the way. And when you do that, that springs Bennett for an extra eight or nine yards. James Adams also on the tackle, but boy, another big run for Kingsley Bennett. And the Rangers have a first and ten at the 46. They got Marcus Dill at 6'6", 295. That's your, that's your, on the bottom of your screen right there, your tackle. Boy, low snap that time. Bennett spins off a tackler, headed back downfield, and he's going to go out of bounds around the uh, 28, but another big run by Kingsley Bennett. I mean, he just made it happen, right? Did you see that spin move? Watch this right here. He gets clogged up. Whoa, nope, nope. Don't close your eyes because I'm gone. <laughs> it's just beautiful run, and then he switches the ball into his left hand just in case it gets bumped out with, you know, it goes out of bounds there. It's just, just exactly how you teach it, right? Yeah, we talked about him in the open, and he is not disappointed here early on in this game as he is around 150 yards here already rushing in the first half. We still have five and a half minutes to go. 
Has had a lot of success running right there behind Marcus Deal over there on the left. Boy, another low snap, and now it's just a busted play. And Walton's going to lose about seven yards. Well, we've seen some bad snaps by both teams here in this game, Bobby. And again, you know, this is week 11 of the football season. Both these teams are making the playoffs. Look at that ball. Yeah, it's just like it's slipping completely out of his hands. Not sure if he's got wet gloves on or if he just needs to take the gloves off. Uh, but it just seems like it's just going straight out of his hands right onto the ground here. Yeah, both teams have tough matchups next week in the playoffs. They need to get those things squared away for sure. And again, a loss of about six on the play, second down and 16. Gonna drop Bennett back deep. He's gonna fake the hand up. Walton's gonna roll to his right. He's got time throws. He's got a wide open receiver. 15, 10, five, touchdown, Naaman Forrest. Wow, Mike DeLuna coming across. It's the old bootleg. If you watch the Cowboys, they run it all the time. They have a guy going underneath right there. And then they got DeLuna coming from all the way on the other side of the field. He kind of gets lost behind all the linebackers. And it's just executed beautifully by Walton. So there's a look at DeLuna there as the Rangers take their first lead of the game. Extra point attempt coming up. Looks like the Rangers going to keep the offense on here and go for two. A little bit of confusion here. They may go ahead and call a timeout, and they do indeed. So Naaman Force timeout. has to use a timeout on the two-point conversion. But, boy, Bobby, we'll keep it here. What a great play that time. And, again, you know, you've been, um, you know, setting this play up with all the, the Kingsley Bennett runs, and that's exactly what they did. They dropped him back deep, faked the handoff, bootleg. You called it. Yeah, it's a little bootleg pass. Watch this. Boom, right there. And then. You have 41 coming out of the backfield going one way, so the linebackers have to cover him. And there you go. You get a sneaky snake behind all the linebackers coming from the other side of the field, a little backslider play. Yep. And Walton picked the right one. You, that's a tough play to cover. You, yes, it you, is. You, you've got to cover the. You got to cover Walton because you think he's going to run it. You got to cover number 41 coming out of the backfield, Davis, because you think he's going to pass it to him. And and, and then you have. The deep backslider coming across, and boy, they just made it work. DeLuna, you got to catch it. And he caught and it. he did, yep. Good play that time, and a nice drive. The Rangers started at their 20-yard line, so again, that went 80 yards in five plays for the score. And again, the Rangers going for two here after their you know botched extra point on their first touchdown. They're trying yeah. to tie it up. I mean, so really, you know, Naaman Force has really held Saxe's offense to nothing, really. I mean, that was just an interception for the touchdown. That's the only point Saxe's got on the board. Another bootleg this time to the left and throw. Oh, and it was right there. A good throw that time, and Luna could not hold on this time to Luna with the incomplete. Uh, pass and so our score is going to be 12 to 7. So, boy, again, a nice drive by me that time. 80 yarder and two point conversion, no good. Our score, name it for us 12, Saxy 7. We'll be back after these messages. drive that time for the Rangers. They had their first lead of the game at 12 to seven. And we were just talking on that extra point attempt. Boy, a great job that time by the quarterback. You know, he rolled out to his left, Bobby, and had to throw across his body. And, and you know, you mentioned that his intended receiver, his initial receiver fell down on the play, but he found DeLuna, threw a strike to him. He just couldn't hold on. Yeah, I mean, I thought it was a great play by Walton. Uh, he, when you're rolling one way, which is to the left, and you have to, and people are chasing you, and then all of a sudden you got to turn your whole body to set your set, set up and square your shoulders and make that kind of a throw is really nice. So now the Mustangs have their turn at it, and it's number 11 with the return out across the 30 to the 31-yard uh, line. That's Jamari Hartz. 
Let's see if the Mustangs offense can get going here. We've got 419 remaining until half. Heyman's at 163 total yards now and, and uh, 129 of it is on the ground. <laughs> but, but Walton's making it happen when he needs to. Yeah, Bennett, nine carries, 162 yards and that touchdown. He has had a monster first half. But now it's a Mustangs chance. See if they can answer here in the waning stages of the second quarter. The handoff goes once again to Kiefer. Pretty nice hold there to the left side. He's going to gain about seven. Kenan Hall, he's six foot. I mean, he's, he, he's making a good play right there. You see him on the top of your screen. He's playing that outside linebacker. He's the one that made that tackle there. Second down short, snap to Orgy. He's going to hand it off once again. Kiefer coming to the left side. He's going to pick up the first down before he gets run out of bounds around the 47-yard uh, line. That will move the chains. Now, Kiefer's doing a pretty good job. That offensive line is pushing, you know, he, they're pushing Naaman Force around a little bit. He's able to pick up some good yards. I mean, now you've got 38 yards by Kiefer and 55 by Alex Orgy. Uh, I, I noticed that they keep running to the left, though. They don't want anything to do with Deal over here on the, <laughs> on the bottom of the screen. Well, just on cue, there's another run to the left by Kiefer, this time a shorter gain. Still picks up about four yards, so a nice run there by the uh, senior running back. Yeah, what, you, see, you see Deal right there? They're like, they, don't, they don't want to have anything to do with that. They just run the other direction. It's smart play. We're approaching three minutes remaining here in the half. Snap to Orgy. Going to fake the handoff this time, keeping himself to the right side. He's got some room. Picks up another first down inside Naaman's 35, all the way down to the 34. And the Mustang offense is getting it in gear here at the end of the first half. Very nice of this time. You see. You see 56 deal, he drives inward that time to try to give everybody some help because they keep running that direction. Well, as soon as you do that and you do stuff that's not your responsibility, they take advantage of it and Orgy goes right at him and picks up that big yardage. First and 10, Saxy. Going to fake the handoff. Orgy's going to keep it to the left side. Trying to get pulled down from behind, but boy, I tell you what, the strong senior quarterback makes something out of nothing. He's going to gain about three. Uh-oh. Yeah, injured name and player. That looks, looks like, like it's number 41, Chandler Davis. Yeah, I was thinking the same thing. Yeah, he gets up, but he's going to have to come off for a play because they did signal for an official timeout. But here's a look at it again. Big, strong hands. But, boy, well, Alex Orgy's so strong. Uh, yeah, he, he just got wrapped up underneath everybody. It was Ivan Thompson that had his hands on him, but just could not. Yeah, Alex Orgy's strong. Yes, he is. Second down and seven. Rolling to his right is Orgy. Looking to throw it. Here comes pressure. He's going to get rid of it on the sideline. Is that a catch? No, they're going to say his foot was out of bounds. Boy, good job by Orgy to find him on the sideline. That's number 81 with that catch. That's Kalik Lockett again, but they're going to say one foot was on the uh, end line, it looks like. Orgy was just getting chased down. I mean, look at all the guys right after. He knows he's going to take a big hit, and he still keeps his eyes downfield. Yeah, there's yeah. the hill out of bounds. Never yeah. established his position back in bounds, so they're going to say out of bounds on the play. So incomplete pass, boy, good catch that time, and better job by Orgy to get rid of it just in time. You run out of bounds, you can't be the first one to touch the ball is what the, what the play is there, so it don't count. Third down and long, here comes pressure. Orgy's in trouble, and there's big Marcus Steele. And Orgy's gonna lose yardage on the sack. 6'6", 295, I mean, he is coming after you in a hurry. And it was just a cover sack. There was just nobody to throw to. They get big pressure from the outside by number 53. And when, as soon as Orgy puts his head down, then Marcus Dill's coming after you, man. So Evan Thomas gives the good push up from the left side and, and uh, it gets finished off by Dill. So fourth down at about 15 now 
Mustang's going to let the play clock run all the way down, probably use their first time out of the half. And there it is right there. So the timeout is called, and we're going to be just a little above timeout. a minute left to go. There's a look at Coach Red Barons. First drive timeout, half. So the Mustang's going to talk about things. Why don't we take a quick break, and we'll be back after these messages. Our score, name it for us, 12, Saxy 7. We are all connected to something bigger than ourselves. Change one thing, change everything. The things we do today have an extraordinary impact on a child's future. A better child, a better world. GISD has a ripple effect on our community. Every lesson can positively affect our future leaders. We are Garland ISD, impacting lives, changing futures. It's what we call the GISD effect. Charge timeout for the Mustangs. We've got 107 left until the half. Saxy facing a fourth down at 15. We see the, the offensive line on the field, but none of the rest of the skill players are out there yet. They're still talking on the sideline. Well, you know, the coach went over there to the linemen and said, hey, okay, you guys, y'all line up in front of somebody and just block. <laughs> and, and, and then the other the other coach is saying, hey, oh, you got to do the zigzag route and got to twist around. And Alex, you got to look at this guy, this guy. He's, they're all coaching. Uh, Lyman just got there and blocked somebody. Four down. The Mustangs going for it here. Pressure oh, coming. Got him. Orchie's throwing across the middle. And the pass is incomplete. Boy, they had Jet running across the middle in a little shallow pose. And he was wide open. I mean, there was nobody around Jet. He just doesn't see him. You see Jet running right oh, there yeah. across the middle? There's nobody around him. They just decided to go deep. But Boy, a big defensive stance right there by the men in green. Yeah, looking for Kalik Lockett there. And as you said, Bobby, he didn't see the underneath man, Jack Krill, and decided to go deep that time and probably would have had enough for the first down had he have gone to Krill. But that's one of those things as a quarterback is it's hard sometimes to hard see to those see open everybody. receivers. That's yeah. right. So the Rangers have 101 to work with and two timeouts. They lead by five in this game. Hand off to Bennett. He stutter steps, comes around to the right side. Boy, a nice job, though, of bringing him down as the uh, corner out there. That is number nine, Leon Williams. Wow, that is a great play by Williams because we already know Bennett is so fast. Right there. I mean, he thinks he's going to get outside of him. He was able to grab onto him and pull him down. Now, that's, a, that's a great play right there by number nine. He's not a little guy, he's 6'2", so he's got a pretty good wingspan. That's exactly what you needed uh, to grab Bennett and put him down. Well, I'm kind of surprised here with two timeouts remaining. Naaman's, you know, Just letting I him guess, run. Yeah, they're they're okay with going in with a five-point lead at half as you see Bennett break through the line here and picks up about eight yards. He's going to be short, and now I think they've used a time. Oh, no, actually, there's got a flag, flag on the play. There, yeah. yeah. But you're right, they had a minute and a half left when, when they got the ball. Holding, offense, number 60. 10 yards from the previous spot, still second down. Well, they're definitely not going to be in a hurry now with the holding call going against them. I wouldn't be surprised to even see them take a knee on this play and go into half. Yeah, I mean, if, you're, if your whole goal is just to, to waste the clock and go in anyway, you might as well not run a play. Yeah, the one thing you don't want here is a turnover. And right. Saxy a short field here right before half. So you know what though, Saxy might be thinking the same thing, and, and Pinnock, we already know, can break one big. So yep, they're gonna let it run off. Yeah, they sure did. And that is the end of the first half. Boy, a quickly moving first half here at Williams Stadium in a good game, exactly what we thought. Our halftime score, name it for us, 12, Saxy 7. We'll be back for the start of the third quarter. Back at Williams Stadium for the start of the third quarter, our halftime score, name it for us, 12, Saxy 7. Well, an interesting first half, Bobby. Let's take a look at some of the first half highlights. You know, we're talking, you know, there's a lot of teams out here scouting these two teams because they're both in the playoffs. And so there shouldn't be much offensive play here. That no, no team wants to give up 
and tell you know show them what they're going to do next week in the playoffs. So it's been pretty conservative play here. That yeah, was the first big play of the game, of course. The interception return for the touchdown by the sophomore Ivory Chester. That got the scoring going. It was seven nothing after that, and then one play. The the next play. Kingsley Bennett off to the races. And how, how long did it take him to score? At least three seconds. Three seconds, okay. Run 65 yards <laughs> in about three seconds, man. That stride was awesome. Poor great play here on the play action bootleg and the throw out to Mike DeLuna there for the touchdown. That gave Naaman the lead in the game. And that's where we're at at 12 to seven. The kick comes down here. Boy, look at the uh -oh. big hole up the middle. Nice return by number 11 of the Mustangs. That is Jamari Hartz, and they're going to have great field position to start this drive. Woo! Well, he hit it and hit it fast. Yes, he did. Just look at it again. Boy, a great return there, and Tell you what, and, and Bobby, I know you'll get to the stats here shortly, but you know, as you mentioned, coming out of the, the break, there are not a whole lot of offense from either of these teams in the first half. There's a snap. We're just going to hand it off. Coming to the left side again to Kiefer. This time he runs into big Marcus Dill, and Dill's going to drop him for a loss of one. Yeah, I mean, that's a real conservative play right there. And, you know, the lineup that they had, Saxe had right there, they, they had two receivers down on the bottom of the screen, and there was only one defender on them. And in normal play, when they're really trying to score here and, and show some stuff, they would have probably thrown that ball out there and, uh, and, and you know try to change the play. They've got coaches up here looking at the box going, hey, let's, let's make a play here. And they can change that play pretty quick. They don't choose to do that here. They're just taking it conservatively right up the middle. Yeah, another handoff to Kiefer, this one up the middle. And guess who? Got the the arm on uh, yeah, Kiefer big. there and pulled him down. Yeah, deal. Playing both sides of the ball. You've been seeing him on offense, playing that left decent, uh, offensive tackle position. And on defense here, you see him coming right through there and making a big play on defense. So a gain of two. So third down and nine. Orgy's going to roll out to the right. He's going to throw it out quickly. Catch is made, but I don't think he's going to have enough for the first down. It depends on the spot. Let's say, no, he is, because they're going to mark him at the 45. So that's a gain of nine and enough to move the chains. Nice catch out there, Bobby, by Hartz. That's just a little quick stop. We call it the comeback. You just come back to the outside. And uh, Alex Orgy throws a bullet. And uh, th there's just nobody can cover that, not, not with a timing route like that. And he picks up that first down. Keeps those chains are rolling. So first and 10 for the Mustangs. The ball in name and force territory at the 45. Oh, another low snap. And boy, Orgy had to get it out in a hurry. He got it to Kiefer. And boy, he made something out of nothing that time again. And again, we've just seen a lot of bad snaps here tonight in this game. Yeah, it's pretty odd that you see that with the last game of the season. Again, it just, he, he snaps it and hits his own rear end right there and boy Alex Orgy just able to get that ball out there so quick I mean that's a that's an athletic play because he had Marcus Deal coming down you know right on him he had to get rid of that ball fast yeah gain of two on the play second down and eight there's a snap this time a high snap but Orgy able to bring it down and once again Kiefer this time to the left side he's going to gain about five and number 41 for the for the pardon me for the uh, Rangers on the tackle that's Chandler Davis that big offensive line is doing a real good job, though. They got Josh Trammell and Connor Clearfield and you know, big guys out there. Brady Payne. They're just kind of moving the pile. Watch them. They, they're giving him some room to run. There's a snap on third down. He's going to be short of the first. That's the new running back on the field. I believe that's number 32 for the Mustangs. It is indeed Dane Norberg. It's going to be fourth down and about two. And I would imagine we're going to see the Mustang offense stay on the field. I think so. They're going to go for it here probably. And you know, they might get it. I mean, they got a big offensive line here. Just get up behind them and run. So fourth and two here on the first drive of the third quarter. There's a snap. Orge is going to keep it himself to the left side. He's got enough yardage for the first down. A gain of about five all the way down to the 32. And the Mustangs driving here to start this possession. Yeah, you see Zach Murray, they, they, they get a big power. They have number 35 kind of in the backfield lead blocking. Then they 
faked the handoff and the running back goes in there and he's lead blocking and then you got 225 pounds of Alex Orgy coming at you. You know, you can pick up a first down pretty quick doing that. Absolutely. Norberg on the carry this time around the right end. He's going to pick up about three. Norberg, a sophomore running back for Saxe. Eight minutes remaining here in the third quarter. Our score, name at 12, Saxe seven, but Saxe on the move here. There's a snap, and we're going to get a whistle before the play, and I believe we may have a procedure called here against the Mustangs. They, they were on the move, that's for sure, a little early. Prior to the snap, ball start, 11, offense, five-yard penalty, second down. Boy, that's the receiver hearts out there on the call. There's a look at Coach Red Barons, and He's been doing this a long time. Yes, he has. Uh, he, he's got that offense going, the defense going, special teams. You watch them out there at practice, and it's like artwork, man. The guys coming in there and going out and switching players and plays going. And, uh, man, it's, he's got it organized to the T. So the five-yard mark, mark, mark off sets up second down and 12. Orgy in some trouble, rolls to his left. He's going to throw out there to the sideline. Boy, a good route that time by Krill to come back and just kind of sit there on the sideline, he's going to make the catch and gain about eight yards on it. Yeah, when you see your, your quarterback getting in a little bit of trouble and he's still trying to find people, it's good to come back to him. And you see he's he was covered well, but he goes back to him to get that receive, uh, get open. Orgy throws it. Oh, and it finds Creel once again. That's going to be a first down across the 20 to about the 19. Orgy that time rolled to his right as they went kind of on a quick count that time. Yeah, it looked like it didn't look like New Force was even set and ready to go. Even the offensive line wasn't ready to go. Handoff once again to Norberg, breaks two tackles and a gain of about nine yards on the carry. And boy, the Mustangs have a nice drive going here, trying to regain the lead once again. And again, they're going quick. They're going to get some, get them trying to get off the field. They got them. There's 12 men on. Yeah, penalty flag comes out and play goes for nothing. But again, as you mentioned, Bobby, it's a free play. Does it look like we've got an illegal substitution call coming up here? Yeah, Saxe got them. They were trying to, they went on that quick count. They snapped it within like 12 seconds of the ball being placed down. And and uh, you, you got Naaman trying to switch illegal players on and off the field. Defense, five yard penalty, resulting in the first down. There's a look at the head coach for the Name and Force Rangers. That's Jesse Perales again. You know, last year they were the uh, district champions. This year they're vying for a share of the district championship. Pending again, as we mentioned, on the uh, game over at HBJ Stadium. Hand off to Norberg, pushing his way. It's first and goal, by the way, at the six. Now it's going to be second and goal from the two. Boy, that big offensive line, they're just doing a great job right now. They're moving the pile. It's like a rugby scrub. And watch the, these guys work because they're going to get some big guys over at Naaman Forest, but they are winning this battle. Look at that. Yeah, Orgy's going to keep it himself. Call his own number into the end zone for the touchdown. And the Mustangs have regained the lead. I mean, that's easy touchdown when you get behind Josh Trammell. Big number 62. Watch this. Watch him just bulldoze everybody. Just push everybody out of the way. Look at that. Drives this man three yards into the end zone. That's easy going. So the Mustangs with the one point advantage are going to keep the offense on here to try to make it a three point game. Going to go ahead and go for two. That's their first offensive touchdown this game. That's true. Exactly right. The first came on a pick six. There's a snap. Or is he going to roll to his right? Penalty flag comes out immediately. He's going to tuck it and run. He's not going to get there, but we will check the flag. See if we get an offside call here against Name and Forrest. Maybe be a free play there for, for uh, Saxe. That's exactly what I think we're going to get. Yeah, they're going back out to line up again, so they must have heard the referee talking. All right. Defense, number 56. Half this to the goal, replay the down. So we're going to redo it here. And now the Mustangs a little bit closer, going to be at 
Yeah, I think they're going to run the ball right behind big number 62 again. Trammell, I mean, that's what I'd be doing. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if Orgy just keeps this. As you said, Bobby just goes right up the middle. So let's see here. Only got a yard and a half to, to go to make this two-point conversion. Watch him get behind the big 35 Snapped here. Orgy. He's going to keep it himself, and that's a two-point conversion for the Mustangs. And a three-point lead. Boy, nice drive, Bobby, for the Mustangs coming out of the half. And they have re indeed regained that lead. As we take a look at Alex Orgy, who scored the touchdown and then followed up with the two-point conversion. Our new score, the Mustangs 15, the Rangers 12. We'll be back after these messages. Here's a look at the senior quarterback there, Alex Orgy. Well, what a good talent he is. Orly committed, of course, to Virginia Tech. And, of course, he's still got some business to go here at the high school level as, again, the Mustangs in the playoffs next week. Penalty flag comes out on the return. A good return out here by number five, uh, Roman Williams. But that one is going to be coming back. Of course, the Rangers wanted a, a flag for a late hit there as well. Yeah, and I think they, they have a good argument right there, too. During the return, holding, number two, 10-yard penalty from the spot of the foul. First down. So there's your holding on the return. Let's see if we can pick it up here. Yeah, there you go. You got Bennett right there. Yeah, but I mean, hold. come on. You think that was a hold, or you just kind of just keeping the guy away from your body a little bit? I mean, I don't. So what's the difference? Being a little ticky, <laughs> little tick tacky right there. I, I'm with you, Bennett. When you watch film tomorrow, you know, I, hey, I'm on your side on that one. So it negates a good return there. The uh, Rangers are going to start first and ten from their own 21. Again, now trailing in this game, had the 12-7 lead at half, but the Mustangs took their opening drive and take six minutes off the clock, go down, regain the lead. Yeah, it was just a really nice drive, wasn't it? Yes, it was. Hand off to Bennett, looking for a hole. He gets it. Got a block downfield as well. One man to beat. Can he outrun him? I'm telling you. That's a long touchdown run for Kingsley Bennett. I mean, just outran the angle. Again, those quick steps are just amazing. Yeah, how about the patience as well, Bobby? Watch him wait for the hole to develop here. Watch. Yeah, he's going right, and then boom. Okay, I'm just going to jump this way, jump this way, find somebody, get behind Marcus Deal, get that seal block, get five helping you out, and then, look, you got people on the angle, and he outruns it. Whew. Saturdays. <laughs> look at Bennett. Boy, he's had a big game. That puts him well over 200 yards. You know, he had a 69-yard touchdown run in the first half. That's a 79-yard run. Extra point attempt has come. Boy, that one's blocked. So that extra point falls no good. And that's important because that keeps the Mustangs within three. So let's just keep it here for a second. You know, Bobby, the one thing to point out, so the Mustangs have scored two touchdowns, and Bennett, has scored the on next the, play. the next play after both of Saxe's touchdowns tonight to regain the lead. Yeah, it's so. like a chess move. He's like, oh, you're going to take my pawn. Well, I'm going to take your queen. Yep. I mean, he just gets it. But you know what's bad here is that they have not got an extra point. Yeah, exactly. They've, they've scored three times without any extra points, and, uh, you know, that keeps, keeps good teams in a game. So unofficially, Bennett now with 11 carries, 239 yards and two touchdowns. And we still have a quarter and a half to go. 239 yards rushing. Big number there for the senior. Right up the middle, too. And, and he's really made it with those little bounce jump cuts that he, he has. You know, he just stays kind of patient and just jumps around. And then all of a sudden, he's gone. 
So as we mentioned, the Rangers regain the lead. Set to kick it away here to the Mustangs. There it is, another high deep kick. This one's gonna go over the head of everyone. And coming back to uh, make the, uh, the Whoa. reception, there's James Adams and wow. Woo! What a play right there. Dorian Terrell. Yeah, Adams may have wished he would have just let that one hit the turf and go into the end, end zone. zone. That would have came out to the 25. Woo. So instead, the Mustangs going to start first and 10 from their 16. Yikes. So Orgy back on the field to see what he can do. Boy, right up the middle, a big run here. And another big hit there at the end of it, the same player. <laughs> I mean, Dorian Terrell, man, he's coming out laying the wood. Yes, Holden. he is. And there's 62. a holding call. Offense. 10-yard penalty, replay, first down. So that looked like a 10-yard run that time for the uh, running back number 20, Luke Kiefer, but it's coming back. Watch his hit. Pow. Well, there's a look at number 12 for the Rangers. That's back-to-back -back big hits by Dorian Terrell. And first and 20 now for the Mustangs. Boy, another nice run, though, on first down. They're just getting right in behind that offensive line. And a pretty good run. Looks like he got all the penalty yards back. Or most of them, anyhow. Second down at about 12 now. Yeah, that offensive line knows what they're doing. Big 61, number 77, Connor. Connor Clearfield and... That's a, that's a big group of guys right there. They're all about 250, 290, 300, 260, 255. Fakes a handoff, Orgy trying to keep it. He's in some trouble this time. He's gonna be wrapped up and taken down for no gain. It's gonna be third down and 12 coming up. Yeah, Lamont Potts just comes out there and makes a big play out there on the edge. It's great plays here, big 41. Again, we've called his name over and over and over. Yes, sir, Chandler Davis for the Rangers. And yeah, third down and 12. About seven, seven tackles on the night. And that one's for a loss. Snap to Orgy. He's going to roll out. Here comes a little bit of pressure. Going to try to get around. He's in a lot of trouble. Got the edge over here. Pit two penalty flags come out. He's going to throw it deep. He's got a man out there, but just overthrows everybody. But again, this one probably going to be coming back. Yeah, it's hard for an offensive line to be able to stay on their blocks this long. And when you're ad-libbing like that, a lot of times their hands get caught up in jerseys. It's probably going to be some type of a holding or, a, or an illegal man downfield, those kind of things, because you don't know if he's going to run it or what he's going to do. Yeah, they should Personal foul. this one. Illegal blindside block, offense, number 62. That penalty is declined, fourth down. Two big plays right there by 62, one for holding and one illegal block. Uh, that's just cost him a lot of, a lot of yards here in this possession. Well, we couldn't pick it up there on the uh, play, but you're right, Bobby. That's two big penalty calls against him on that series. And, of course, again, it was third down. That pass was incomplete, so the Rangers do decline. It's going to be fourth and 12. Orgy's going to be kicking from his end zone. And number two, Kingsley Bennett stands right at around midfield. And we got some... Substitutions coming in as well. I don't think Saxe had enough on the field. And here we go again. Bennett standing at midfield. There's the kick. Let's see if this one's going to be returned. He's got the ball. Here comes the return. Boy, good job on the coverage by the Mustangs. But Rangers are going to have good field position to start this series. Camden George goes down and makes just a great tackle I mean that's that's hard to get Kingsley Bennett when he's out in the open like that and especially a solo type tackle I give Camden George good credit to get downfield and make that play this will be a big series here for the Saxe defense Bobby you know again they had taken the lead early and then Kingsley Bennett turned that around with one play so the the Rangers with the lead now in good field position Saxe doesn't want to go down by two scores handoff to Bennett 
Yeah, but Short Saxe, game. Saxe didn't score last time, last possession, so Kingsley Bennett didn't score. So no, that's true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He, he only scores when they score. That's exactly right. Only gains one yard on this carry. They the ball is loose. Saxe thinks they have it. Uh oh. No really? signal. Yeah, they do. The ruling on the field is a fumble. Recovered by Saxe. First down. Now, of course, the Rangers coaching staff thinks that he was down, so let's see. And they're talking about it for sure. Yeah, I can't see the ball. There it is. It popped out right there. Yeah, and it's hard to tell you know, where that ball came out or, or not, but I, I think it's probably going to be Saxe's ball. They don't have instant replay to be able to do all of that down there. They see it. They call it. But they sure are talking about it. Yeah, they are. And again, the initial call was Saxe ball, but you saw the lines judge. It was on the Rangers sideline come across the field. They're having the conversation, so here we go. We Got to keep it the same as what you called it. Oh. Four progress had been stopped. No fumble on the play. Second down. Wow. So the Rangers win that argument. They said the forward progress was stopped, so no fumble on the play. And Rangers will retain possession. It will be second down and nine. There was a gain of one on the carry. Boy, interesting turn of events. Yeah. That could have been a big play. That was, I think it was a big play, and, and I think it was just very lucky that they overturned that call. So this formation here for the Rangers, bent it back deep, and here's the rollout. We saw this play in the first half. The same play, the same result, not the touchdown, but the catch made by Mike DeLuna. That was the exact same play they ran in the first half. Yeah, I'm surprised that they showed it again because, you know, you're playing for the playoffs here, and they showed that play, and now, you know, R Rockwall Heath is going to be able to see that and go, hey, when they line up in this formation, let's watch for this play, and, and they, that may not work for them. Boy, I tell you, if that ball would have not been thrown behind DeLuna, that may have gone for a touchdown. It is a first down, however. Handoff to Bennett. Nice spin move outside <laughs> to the left. Trying to outrun folks. Spin back inside. And a gain of about a yard. That's a lot of running for one yard, wasn't it? Absolutely. But he makes it look pretty. That spin move is just sick. It's just right here. Whoop. <laughs> Don't close your eyes. It's like going through one of those little towns and in New Mexico, you know, <laughs> <laughs> you should you blink and you passed it. Yeah, That's kind of what Bennett does to you. He's going 75. Everybody else is going 50. <laughs> There's a look at Bennett. Boy, I thought he got to the 30 yard line for a yard game, but they're going to mark him right at the 31. So no gain on the play. Second down and 10. There's a snap. Walton going to hand it off to him again. Cuts it back to the left side. Breaks the tackle. Still on his feet. And finally upended around the 22. So it's going to be third down and about one. Coming up for the Rangers as we are inside of two minutes in the third. Well, you can see that big offensive line doing some work themselves. You know, we've been talking about Saxe's big offensive line, but you know, the, they even Force got some big guys down there as well. They're all averaging about 255, 245, 215. They're big boys. Oh, look at there, and the ball loose. This time I think Saxe may have it. Let's see. Got ball, green ball, green ball, green ball. Apparently not. Apparently it's green ball. So, Bennett able to fall on it, but guess what? That's a loss of about four yards. Bobby, another bad snap that time to Walton. Let's see what the Rangers elect to do. Here's a look at the replay. Yeah, because it's fourth down now, right? I mean. Yeah, that third and one moves to a fourth down in about six, and it looks like the Rangers are going to keep the offense on the field. What do you do here? It's it's a tough play. You got six yards. Fourth and six is not an easy area to be in. I mean, it's it kind of takes away from your run. You, you probably have to throw the ball. Yeah, you got to throw this. Yeah. Or or you may see Walton just kick it. Just do kind of a quick kick, but they're gonna call timeout first and talk about it. Yeah, I would. Timeout. I would never kick Name this four. ball because I mean, first timeout at half. If the ball goes into the end zone, it's gonna come back out. You're, you're not gonna net anything. So we are at a timeout with 45 seconds. Let's take a look, quick look at the standings. Of course, you see Garland on top of district play, 6-0 oh 
in district, 9-0 overall. Then you've got Saxe and Naaman again. You see the X to the left of, of those three teams. Those three teams have clinched the playoffs. Boy, great graphic there by our, our crew. And so, again, that fourth playoff spot came down tonight to Wiley versus North Garland. So the winner of that game will take fourth place and make the playoffs. And, Bobby, at our last uh, word, North Garland was up 13-7 to at half. So, go on, you know, come on, Raiders, yeah. for that fourth playoff spot. But there's a look at your standings. Garland. What uh, a great year Garland's had. Yeah, they're going to go to 10-0. and 0. They are up big over at HBJ. You know, we have mentioned coming into this game, both Naaman and, and Saxe, you know, the winner of this game, you know, could potentially get a co-district championship with Garland if Garland were to lose. Doesn't look like that's going to happen. But, yeah, 10-0 and 0 for the Owls, it looks like this year, and, and a good season for Coach Danny Russell. They've just, I mean, you know, that was that whole group of sophomores that came up together. And uh, they've just played remarkable. They've got such timing. Fourth down, throw to the end zone. And broken up, good defensive play there by the Mustangs. Pretty good throw, Bobby, that time. But just a better defensive play by number, uh, I believe that's 33, the young man who had the pick six earlier. He stayed with his man. You know it's going deep here. Good toss. Woo, just goes over the top and knocks it out of there. Man, that's, that is a good play right there. Yeah, that was actually 38. 33 was on the coverage, uh -huh. but 38 that time as well. So the Mustang defense does hold, and they take over first and 10 at the 27. Orgy in some trouble. Penalty flag comes out again. Oh, and Orgy just spun right back into that tackle. They're going to decline this penalty because that's going to be a huge loss. You hit the ground. Oh. Elijah Johnson just was staying after him so hard. And then when Alex Orgy just does the spin move, he spins right back into Johnson. He misses him there, and here he comes right back at him. Uh, all for not. It was going holding. to be a holding. 77 offense. Yeah, they'll that decline that. Decline. Yeah, for sure. Second down. Yeah, you're looking at, you know, they were on the 22. It's going to back them up to the 8. So that is a loss of 14 on the play. It's going to set up a second down and 24 at the eight yard line. That defense has been playing really good tonight. They have, for sure. So the Mustangs have to snap the ball at least one more time before the end of the third. There it is. Orgy in his own end zone. Screen pass set up. Woo! Boy, and he would have done better to just drop that ball as he's gonna be knocked off his feet. That's a loss of six more. They're gonna mark him down at the two. Boy, he read that so good. Watch this, it just comes right there and it's, he's, he's on it. He's right there. He almost picks it off for the touchdown. Number six. That is Bird on the tackle. We have come to the end of three here at Williams Stadium. Our score, the Name and Forest Rangers 18, the Saxe Mustangs 15. We'll be back after these messages on GRS TV. entertaining game here so far at Williams Stadium. We've got 12 more minutes to go right now. Name it Forest on top 18 to 15. Well, Micah Bird made such a great play right there. It was they were trying to set up that screen play. They wanted to get everybody rushing in on Alex Orgy and just toss it over there and make a big play out of it. Micah Bird had nothing on that. He, he read it from the very beginning and it would have been better, like you said, just to throw that ball away or not catch it because uh, Bird was so, he, it almost became, it was almost a safety, much less a touchdown for an interception. So Bird, great job on the defensive stance there. Yeah, no doubt. And here you go, you've got a third down and about 28 to go. And, and you know, I, I'm not so certain they don't just run a draw play here, Bobby, get as much as you can and then punt it away because. Alex Orgy needs to run this thing out of the end zone. That's what he needs to do. Exactly, here we go. There's a snap, Orgy looking to throw it. Here comes the pressure in the end zone. He's just gonna throw it deep. That's dangerous. 
That's intercepted. That is the most interesting thing I've ever seen. Cause, or no, Prior to the pass, down. the quarterback stepped out of bounds. Oh, that's Therefore, a safety. Safety. So on top of that, Orgy stepped out of bounds, didn't even see that. Yeah, they, they got after him pretty quick. Look, right up the middle. He didn't have any anywhere to go. Boy, look at the camera crew. Where, oh, right oh, there. there was. Yep, yep, right, right there. Right before he got rid of it. That's exactly right. And there was the interception. Boy, I've never <laughs> Why seen did that he run? <laughs> <laughs> I was like, he, he like, thought it was a punt? What, what, what was going on there? That was my initial thought, too. That's why for a second I thought, well, maybe he didn't catch it, but he, he did. He got so excited that he caught an interception. <laughs> He's right there, and I don't know what happened. Uh, my goodness, but it didn't go for anything anyway because he stepped out of bounds. But it was an interesting call because you figure that he would take this ball and, and, and just run it right up the middle and get out of the end zone. Okay, yeah, I was wondering. You could see the players on the field. Saxe should be kicking from the other end. Yeah, there's the ref there. You see him right there on the 20-yard line. He's blowing the whistle. Hey, here I am. Here I am. <laughs> Come back here. Um, but, yeah, I, 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 it's an interesting call. I, I really thought Saxe would run that ball out of the end zone and yeah, get you some here. room and punt the thing away. Uh, yeah, me too. Uh, but And that's a big play in this game. Of course, it was a three-point game, so you're within a field goal. And now because of the safety, you know, now you're at, at a five-point deficit. And obviously with the uh, free kick from the 20, looks like they're going to elect to uh, punt it here and – well, this two teams just haven't disappointed, right? I mean, it's just been a really good game been so far. It's been a great far. game. It's a lot of fun to watch these two guys battle it out. So there's the punt. Boy, a nice punt. And the two naming players run into each other, but ultimately number one comes away with it in the return by Kaysen Rideau. And, boy, a pretty big hit there by the Mustangs, but good field position for the Rangers. Yeah, it's interesting. We're looking at the stats here, and uh, Saxe averages 46.9 points a game. And it's interesting right here that Naaman's been able to hold them to just 15 points. Yeah, 15. They are the uh, the eighth leading scoring team or points per game team in the area. Like you said, Bobby, at, at almost 47 points a game, and they're sitting on 15 right now. And we are in the fourth quarter, so good job by the Ranger defense. And At, and, on, and and they've only got 200 yards total offense as well. Well, handoff to Bennett, another big run, breaks one tackle. This one I bet is coming back, though. There was a penalty flag thrown. Get him for holding here. Yep. Holding. Offense, number 53, 10-yard penalty, first down. So watch Bennett here at the point of attack. Boy, nice move there. And well, good play by 48 of the Mustangs to take him off his feet, Chris Talley. But again, that one coming back on the holding call. Yeah, now you got first and 20. That's that's tough right there. That's tough sledding, uh, especially for a big running running type team. Naaman's only got 40 five yards passing in this game and the rest of their total 258's been in on the ground. Yeah, they haven't needed the air game as, as Kingsley Bennett's done some, some damage, but this time the Mustangs read it. They were there for the tackle and a big loss on the play. And the Rangers going the wrong direction. Yeah, Chris Talley again on the big stop. I mean, we saw him two times in a row now. Just gets up upfield and makes a great tackle. Well, so a loss on the play. Now we're looking at 25 yards yeah, to go. Yeah, I was going to say second down to 25 as the ball marked at the 33. Clock continues to run. Naaman's going to let as much time run off. Play clock down to one. Oh, my goodness. Now it's going to be – now it's going to be – Prior to the snap. 30 yards to go. Offensive line, five-yard penalty. Replay second down. Well, they're just going in the wrong direction here. Yes, they are. Second down to 30. And this is what Saxe needs, a big defensive stand right here. Again, they had all the momentum after taking the lead there on their opening drive of the third quarter. But then the, the long 79-yard touchdown run by Bennett and then the safety just moments ago, and the momentum's kind of swung back to Naaman. So 
defense for the Mustangs here trying oh. to come up with something big. We're going to get another penalty flag. You're going to get another procedure. Prior to the snap, ball start, 52 offense, five-yard penalty, still second down. What is going on here? Well, Coach Perales cannot be happy. I don't know if I've ever seen it 35 yards to go to the <laughs> to, to a first down. Yeah. I, I mean, second and 35? He's going the wrong way. Yes, they are. There's a snap. There's a screen to Bennett. See if Bennett can get it. Oh, there uh -oh. comes the ball. That could be the big turnover the Mustangs need. They think they have it. And they do. Uh-oh. Well, really a great play call by the Rangers, Bobby. You know, nothing fancy. They're just going to throw the screen nice pass. Nice screen, yeah. yeah. Bennett can do something. But, boy, the big turnover here by the Mustang defense. He slips, and then he kind of gets back up. And when he does that, the helmet just hits straight on. Number 45, I believe that was. Yep, it was. Miller, and he hits, a, hits the ball with his helmet, pops up. And then 35 yards of penalties have got him really in field position for Saxe to take the lead here. Yeah, the nice handoff here outside to Kiefer. He's going to get nice yardage. Going to knock him out of bounds around the 16-yard line, but that's a gain of six on first down. Yeah, that's interesting. You, you, you go backwards with all those penalties, and then, then you turn the ball over, and then all of a sudden Saxe's sitting right inside the 20-yard line. Snap to Orgy. He's going to keep it himself after the fake handoff, and he's going to be close to first down yardage, but I think about a yard shy. Elijah Johnson there making, well, we've just called his name all over the place. You know, we, we're always talking about Marcus Deal, but how about Elijah Johnson? Yeah, Johnson's had a good game tonight, along with Chandler Davis. Absolutely. Those two guys have just really been rocking down there. So pick third and one here for the Mustangs. Let's see if Orgy keeps it himself once again. There's a snap. Yep, calls his own number to the left side. He's going to have the first down and more. Still moving the feet. And finally taken down around the seven-yard line. It's going to be first and goal Mustangs. They're not doing anything fancy. They're just getting behind big number 35 and letting him lead block wherever he's at on the line. You just watch for Alex Orgy to run right behind him. First and goal, Saxe looking to regain the lead. Get their 35 and Orgy right behind him. As you said, Bobby, touchdown, Saxe back on top. It's hard to stop it. So one point lead, I would imagine they're gonna go for two here to try to extend it to three once again. He just lead block, he gets big behind big number 62, like we've been saying all night long, Josh Trammell. He gets low and there's no telling how much that guy can power clean and squat. I mean, he's a big guy. And you, you get behind him and number 35 there, LeGrenade, and uh, they're gonna score. They're going to pick up a couple of yards anyway. For sure, yeah, and they did there. So here we go, two-point conversion. This should uh, – would take it to a three-point advantage. There's a snap. Orgy looking to throw it. Here comes pressure. He's in trouble. He's going to go down, and the two-point conversion is no good. You know, it's hard to get him down, and the only guy out there that probably can single-handedly is number 56, Deal. There's a look at it, Deal. Takes him down and I mean Deal's huge. He's he's 6'6, 295. And you know, we've been talking about how big Alex Orgy is. He's he's a real big guy, really strong, and, and that's the only guy out here that probably can just grab him and throw him down like that. There's a look at Dill coming off rather gingerly. And but the Mustangs, the big story there, they regained the lead. It's 21-20 now. And again, just moments ago, we were talking about it didn't look real good. The momentum had swung, but then the Saxe defense came up big, Bobby. You know, they, of course, Naaman had a couple penalties as well, but they, they had the big play on the first down, right, where they dropped Kingsley Bennett for a loss. 
then you had the two consecutive penalties, and then, of course, the big fumble. And so the, the Mustang defense did what they needed to, and they've got the one-point advantage because of it. Yeah, it started as a safety, so they had to punt the ball from the 20. So automatically, uh, Naaman would have had good field position. They just started going backwards, and it just got worse from there, and it eventually turned into seven points. Here comes the kickoff. It's going to be a high end over and kick. Fair catch called for, and it is made by number 11 that time for the Rangers. It is Quasi Barnes, and Rangers will have pretty good field position to start this drive. That could have been dangerous again because, you know, you had the name and force player asking for a fair catch, and Quasi Barnes is not even looking. He's running like he's catching a pass over the shoulder, and uh, they could have collided right there. Yep. The ball could have been on the ground again. Absolutely. So first and 10 now for Naaman Forrest. Again, now trailing in this game by one. Got a little over eight minutes to go in the regular season. Yeah, who wants it bad enough now? Who, who's the one that wants it? Snap to Walton. He's going to hand it off to Bennett to the right side. See if he can redeem himself. He's going to pick up about seven yards. A nice run on first down. I thought he was going to score. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's been the pattern so far. We had a nice little crease there as well, but 41 able to come off the block for the Mustangs, make the tackle there. It's Galise Harris, and boy, nice play there. A gain of six, however, second down, actually seven, second down to three now for the Rangers. are going to hand it off to Bennett once again. Tries to break it outside to the right, breaks the tackle, gets knocked out of bounds, but he should have enough yards for the first down. Yeah, they're going to mark him out at the 49, so that's a gain of four. Yeah, James Adams makes a good play coming out from that safety spot. Getting him here, but watch Bennett use his hands. See that? Just use his hands so you can't get a hold of him. Adams comes out there and makes him out get knocked out of bounds, but yeah, Bennett's got something going there. He's pretty fast. I do believe they picked up the first. They did by one yard, first and 10, just a yard shy of midfield. There's a snap, hand off to Bennett again to the left side, cuts up the middle. It's going to have a gain of about seven more, but guess what? A penalty flag. This is usually in the area of holding, and that one more than likely coming back. Holding, offense. Number 60, 10 yard penalty, replay, first down. Boy, we have seen a lot of holding calls here in the second half. And we're gonna go against Naaman Forrest. I mean, it's just, and it's all been within this quarter and a half or something, you know, it's been just a whole lot of penalties on Naaman. They just keep marching backwards. So the 10 yard penalty marked off against the Rangers, sets up a first down and 20 now. There's a snap, Walden throws it out quickly, catch is made, and then pushed out of bounds number 14. That is Kenny Hanks. He's a sophomore receiver for Naaman Forrest. That's a lot of fun right there. Go out there and make a big play like that. Walden's got a pretty good arm. Just zips it out. That's been their bread and butter pass play right there. Just doing a little comeback at about eight, nine yards and having Walton deliver it. That's That's been where they've made all of their catches. Yeah, got most of the penalty yardage back, a gain of eight. So second down and 12 now for Naaman Forrest. There's a snap wall looking to uh -oh. throw again. Here comes pressure. He's going to go down. Uh-oh. Woo. Big number 98, Avion Krasniki once again with the big play. Mm. 270 pounds, running full speed, landing on you like that. Oh, I thought he could be hurt. <laughs> You know, because, I mean, that's where the injuries can happen. Man, uh, get up and just pop right back up. Walton did. Uh, man, 6'3", 210. Walton's a big kid, too. So third down, 21 to go here for Naaman Force. They've got to get to the Saxe 41 to pick up the first down. There's a low snap. Walton able to pick it up. But guess what? Penalty flag on the field. Prior to the snap, ball start, offense, number three, five-yard penalty, third down. I mean, these are just mental mistakes. That's all these are, just 
jumping offside. I'm not sure if they can't hear uh, the quarterback calling his signals or, or what's going on, but uh, you know these are just mental mistakes here. Yeah, and a lot of these happening, like I said, here in the second half, especially here in the fourth quarter. And now what do you pull out on third down and 26? Straight draw back. Walton's got plenty of time to throw. He throws. He's got a wide open receiver. He's got a long way to go to pick up the first. But I tell you what, they're probably going to end up going for this, Bobby. A good throw to number three that time, Mike DeLuna. And they're only about four yards shy of moving the chains. Yeah, DeLuna goes about 15 yards and just sets down. And Walton delivers a perfect strike right there. He was just wide open in the middle. Everybody was kind of deep. All the safeties were deep. DeLuna just sat down and made a great play. So fourth down and about five to go here. But again, the Rangers do keep the offense on the field as we are inside of six minutes to go in the game. They just shouldn't be in a fourth and five here. They should have been a first down. But all these penalties, it's just really hurting them. There's a snap. Here comes the pressure. Wald looks to throw it, throws it across the middle. And the pass is incomplete. Well, that time the Mustangs brought the blitz. Yeah, Steve McCown, man, what a play right there. He goes over and hits the ball with his right hand and knock this ball out. You see Walton, he knows it's bad right there. He's just got to throw it. Well, McCown just makes a beautiful play right there. Over the shoulder, hits it down without touching the receiver. So turnover on downs, 5-13 remaining. The Mustangs with a first and 10. And I would imagine we're going to see him keep it on the ground here. Namath still has two timeouts left. Yeah, they're going to run it right down their throat is what I think. I think they're just going to keep running right over the left side there. Boy, and a big play on first down. He may have got it. First. Yeah, he did. That's a little over 10 yards, so that will move the chains right away. Yeah, again, get behind Big LeGrade, number 35. Look at him, just lead blocking. Boy, big play. So first and 10, they're going to let as much time run off the clock before they snap the ball. Well, as of course, I say that, and they're lining up already. Play clock with 20 seconds remaining. Again, both of these teams have made the playoffs. Both coming in at 5-1 and one in district play, so the winner of this game will be in sole possession of second place. There's a snap to Orgy. The handoff, boy, another big hole to the right side. It's going to be another first down. Don't go out of bounds, young man. Oh, don't do that. That'll stop the clock. It's going to be close to the first down. I think he's got it. That's what coach is telling him. Hey, you see what time it is. We've got to play smart here. You had plenty of room. Just go upfield. Get that first down. Don't try to outrun everybody to the out of bounds. Just go get the first down. Get low. Keep that clock moving. Yeah, but he's a yard shy of the first down, so it will be second down and one. Yeah, he tried to run out, run everybody to the sideline. If he would have got down and low and cut, put that foot in the dirt, he'd have got that first. Oh, a little uh -oh, bit of move at that time, and this one's going to go on the Mustangs. Uh oh. Prior to the snap, ball start, offense number sixty-one, five-yard penalty, second down. Well, get those hairs. Turned a little bit more gray there on Coach Barron's. That's going to be a five-yard penalty. Second down and six now coming up for the Mustangs. And it's, you know, when you got third, third and one or second and one, and, and then all of a sudden, you know, it, it's it makes it makes it a little bit more challenging to get second and six. It's just different at this point in the game. You're just wanting to control the ball, pick up yards. off to the left side pretty good hole once again he gets pretty much the penalty yardage back but guess another what one. another penalty flag on the play these guys are going to have to wash their flags it's been on the ground so much boy and i think i may have seen a holding call signaled here i mean this is the time of the game when you've got to do everything perfect to burn the, okay. that time off the clock and there's no foul oh, on the play. They're gonna wave it. Okay. Third down. Well, how's that? How do you throw a flag and blow the whistle and then wave it? It's a great question, but they do indeed. And so Saxe now with a third down and about two needed for the first down. Clock continues to run. We 
talked about two, you know, both of these teams with uh, or making the playoffs already. So, and again, both teams know what division they're going to be in. The uh, Mustangs will be playing Mesquite next week. Name and Force will be playing Rockwall Heath. So, congratulations to both teams, regardless of the outcome. Orgy around the right side. Stay in bounds. He does. He spins back in. That is a smart play. It's going to stop the, the clock while they move the chains, but then they'll wind it back up, and Namath's going to have to start thinking about using timeouts. Yeah, I mean, just a, it, the patience on this. Watch him just wait, 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 and then he sees it open up, and then he doesn't hesitate. Just gets out there, gets out there fast, stays in bounds. That's a, that's a good play. That's somebody that carries your team, and that's why he's got over 1,000 yards rushing this year. As, uh, as well as all the yards he has in the air. I mean, it's just an incredible year for Alex Orgy. First and 10, the clock is running. As we mentioned, first and 10 at the 16-yard line. Name, it's got to get a stop here now. There's a snap. They're going to hand it off to Kiever. Guess what? Another penalty, flag. Yeah, penalty flag on the play. Uh. Kiever's going to pick up about four. But the clock will stop, and we will check the uh, penalty. Usually an offsides type call here. It's a line judge that threw a penalty, and he threw it right when the flag, right when the play started. Prior to the snap, false start. Number 19, offense lined up in the neutral zone. Five-yard penalty, first down. Ooh, that's a tough one to take to one of your wide receivers lined up in the neutral zone. So the rare offside against the offense that will back him up five yards. Clock does start again. We'll be inside of three minutes when we snap this ball. What a great game to finish the regular season. Yeah, I like that neither team really showed a whole lot. You know, they really kept the ball on the ground. Uh, they know that they're getting scouted out here and see Dill make that big tackle right there. But, you, you know, they, they, they know that they're getting scouted. They don't want to show a lot of stuff. You haven't seen Alex Orgy really air the ball out too much and throw and uh, he's really hadn't thrown the ball at all. He's only, let's see, what do we got for him? Uh, let's see, 8 of 13. That's all he's thrown the ball tonight. And, uh, well, it doesn't make it real easy when you got that guy chasing you right there. Yeah, exactly. Uh, deal. But, you know, they're, they're not showing much. They know that they got the big game next week in the playoffs, and that's what you've been playing for this whole time. And they got, they got Mesquite next week they got a big running game in mesquite and they've got to figure out how to stop that running game and they don't want to give mesquite anything that they can watch film on and figure something out so i think it's just smart you know we talk about session coach barons you know we've talked about him he's been around a long time he knows what's going on here yeah he does so the mustangs call a timeout with one second remaining on the play clock we're going to keep it here we've got 211 remaining in the regular season want to take this opportunity real quick bobby again our final game of the regular season and uh boy we have a, a good one here but what a give a shout out you know these guys don't get a whole lot of uh exposure you know again we know who we are and people see us or whatever but behind the scenes we have a fantastic crew here at grs tv and it's led by delbert richardson um who does a great job we're in our 19th season i believe and and you know delbert's been here for all of them there's a look at larry grimes right there on your end zone camera larry has been with us for a long time as well does a great job each and every week uh there's a look at homer clayton hey 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 and that is Nathan, Nathan Brown, Brown in the him. background as well. There, there's Nathan there giving the thumbs up. And, of course, I can't forget John Cook in the booth as well. These guys do a fantastic job. It's been another great season. We just want to give them a shout-out because of everything they do to make the productions. Yeah, you know, and don't forget all these kids that they pull around with them too. Exactly. And they're running cameras out there and from Lakeview Centennial High School and learning how to do production work and, and film and – Getting to come out here, it's just a it's a great thing that they're doing for uh, these kids at Lakeview. And, yeah, shout out. Yeah, absolutely. Just wanted to Time give out. you guys recognition. Um, you do a great job each and every week, and we, we sure do appreciate it. So, of course, Nathan is from Saxe. We hear from, from uh, John down there in the booth. And so, uh, sorry about that, Nathan. Uh, but we appreciate all the help as well. So, uh, timeout here by the Mustangs. Again, they're going to have one left. Uh, that run you saw by Kiefer is going to set up a third down and nine. You know, it's kind of surprising, Bobby, you know, that, that the Rangers didn't use a timeout earlier on, you know, that last series. Of course, the, the Mustangs ended up calling it. But um, 
Interesting play here. We got a third down and nine coming up. And again, the Mustangs up by one. First down here, and the game's pretty much over. If they don't make it, it'll be interesting to see what the call is. More than likely from where we're at, the Mustangs will, you know, go for it, even if it's a fourth down play. But boy, what a great season here on GRS TV and a great game to wrap up the regular season. Absolutely. And both these teams are really showing how good they are, you know. And both teams get to play next week. That's the best thing about it. There's Absolutely. no seniors going home to tonight being their last game. You know, they all have another one. And I believe the weather is supposed to be incredible next week. Uh, so it'll be awesome. All right, a big play here. Third down and nine coming up. 2.02 remaining in the game. There's a snap to Orgy. Hands it off to the left side. Pretty big running room up there. Oh, and he pushes forward. He's going to be close, about two yards shy. But again, I can guarantee the Mustangs will go for it here on fourth and short. Power run. Look at these big offensive linemen. Look at Connor Clearfield coming through there and just manhandling people. Pick that yard up, man. That's a nice job watching these linemen roll through there like that. Oh, let's see what they're going to do here. I'm sure they're going to get behind number 35, and they're going to just. The problem is he's on the wrong side. He's he's got to go over there against Deal. Deal's on that side. You, you got to have him going a different direction. There he is, going a different direction here. There's a snap or He's going to keep it himself to the left side. He pulls does he forward. know? I don't think he's going to get there. I think he's about a yard short. Neyman will have a chance. Wow. Defensive stands right there. Beautiful play by the defense. Got the first hit there by 23 of the Rangers. Really slowed up Orgy that time. And so Isaiah Cunning with the uh, play so far. But again, the Rangers have a long way to go. Only one timeout, and we've got 113 remaining. I'd be excited if I was him too, man. That, that was a big fourth down play against a big time player. And he made it. It gives his team an opportunity for the last possession of the game to go down there and win it. I mean, what what can you expect? I mean, that's really good ball playing right there. Exciting. Yep, so here we go. Again, name it for us. 113 left on the clock, one timeout remaining. They trail by one, so they at least have to get into field goal range. They'll send a man in motion in. There's a snap. Walton fakes a handoff. Here comes pressure up the middle. Walton gets out of it, throws it across the middle, overthrows the intended receiver. That is number five, Roman Williams. And it takes about seven seconds off the clock on the play. Yeah, that, would, that just didn't have much opportunity. There was a lot of pressure on him. They thought they were going to do the pump and go. He just didn't have time to throw it. And now the play just never developed. Walton across the middle. Oh, that was there. Yeah, that pass was there. The receiver was there, but the throw a little low. And so number one for the Rangers, not able to pick it up. That is Case and Rideau, and it's going to be third down. That's the play you want right there. You want a real quick play that your quarterback doesn't have to read. He knows where his guy is, a kind of a Time timing out. route. There's Name a little post pattern right over the Final top. Final out of the half. Boy, interesting here that yeah. the Rangers use their final timeout, but they do. Why don't we take one last break here? We'll be back after these messages. Our score, Saxe 21, name and 20. We are all connected to something bigger than ourselves. Change one thing, change everything. The things we do today have an extraordinary impact on a child's future. A better child, a better world. GISD has a ripple effect on our community. Every lesson can positively affect our future leaders. We are Garland ISD, impacting lives, changing futures. It's what we call the GISD effect. remaining in the game. The Rangers just used their last time out of the half, and they're facing a third down and 10. There's a snap to Walton straight, drop back, look at the throw. He's going to throw it deep. Pass is incomplete. Looking for Kingsley Bennett on a will route, but it is incomplete. It's going to be fourth down here. Yeah, that was good coverage right there. 
He had plenty of time to throw it. He puts it out there. I really thought they may get pass interference. Yeah, yeah, pass interference. Bennett kind of pulls him backwards there. Yep. And this is the last play of the game. Yeah, here's your ball game here. If they don't pick up 10 yards, they've got to get to the 20 to keep this game going. There's a snap, fourth and 10. Pressure comes. He's going to throw it deep, looking for number 14. He's there, but the pass is incomplete, and the Mustangs will hold on and win this game. There is a penalty flag out late. So we will check the flag. Naaman thinks it's going on Saxy. Yeah, and that was a big injury down there at the at the last play of the game, too. He throws it out of bounds, and they, he flies into the into his players on the bench here. And uh, I think some people got hurt there. Mm. Game. That's it. After the play? After the play. Okay, so we're still going first down. Yeah, still first down. All right. So the penalty apparently is going to go on Saxy, but it is, as you just heard from the officials, with their mic on, it is a post-possession play. So penalty yards will be marked off, but it will be Saxy ball first and 10. It's interesting that they went so quick to throw all those passes. You know, you could have get first Saxie. downs and, Second and time still have hand. the time, but yeah, Saxy's going to have to call a timeout here and just get their players, everybody settled down. You know, everybody's so excited. Just, hey, he's going to hey, settle down. Let's get some good snaps here, you know. Yeah, but they, they can't stop the clock. Exactly. So, yeah, so I was know, just about to say, Bobby. Just they take care of the ball and – you know, he's just going to calm everybody down. That's what's going on here. Yeah, 49 seconds remaining. They just really need to take a knee here and run out the clock. And, well, what a great season we've had. Again, the Mustangs, uh, if they can hold on for this final 49 seconds, they will move to 6-1 and one in district play. That will put them at 7-3 and three overall and sole possession of second place. Um, and then, of course, name and force. This will only be their second loss of the year. They came into the game, of course, at, at five and one, that one loss being to Garland. And, of course, this will give them their second loss on the season and third place in District 9-6A. And, Bobby, just, you know, quick word. And, you know, I know the game will be replayed afterwards. But as of right now, North Garland is actually up on Wiley 27-14 to in the third quarter. So if that score holds up, North Garland would be the fourth place team from our district. And we get four Garland schools in the playoffs. How about that? Be fantastic. That's fantastic, if yeah. North can hold on. Yep. Yeah, they're up. They're up two touchdowns right now. We'll see what happens there. So the knee taken by Alex Orgy there. He'll only have to do it one more time, and this game will be over. Bobby, it's been a fantastic season once again. Um, I know I speak for myself and Scott Garner. Uh, just it's been a pleasure working in the booth with you again this year. And yeah, we're looking it's been forward. fun, hasn't it? It has, regular season. Now, it's not over yet. We're looking forward to the playoffs next week. Again, we've got three teams in, possibly four. And so we're looking to continue forward. But the Mustangs have seven more seconds to run off the clock. This one will be in the books, and there it is. The horn has sounded. Boy, a fantastic game to wrap up the regular season here tonight at Williams Stadium. Our final score, Saxe 21, name it for us 20. We'll see you next time on GRS-TV, and enjoy the highlights.